In today's show, Bitcoin price ready to rally, with Bitcoin bulls clear to charge at $85,000. I'll be breaking down the latest technical analysis, as well as this $150,000 Bitcoin price prediction by none other than Decent Trader. And as Tech Dev points out here, $84,000 Bitcoin in early November, and Mikhail Benet Pop shares Bitcoin is heading towards $90,000. And as Dan Held shares here, if everyone in the world understood Bitcoin and the current macro environment, then the price would be one to $10 million per Bitcoin. I agree 100%. Also happy birthday. Bitcoin and Satoshi Nakamoto. The white paper went live 13 years ago today, making Bitcoin officially a teenager appreciating 7.7 .7 billion percent since its launch. That's right. Also in today's show, US dollar tanking can kick off a parabolic phase for Bitcoin, says crypto analyst Justin Bennett. As you can see here in this chart, it shows Bitcoin hidden $75,000 in mid-November. And he also shows this Ethereum chart, which shows ETH ready for ten dollars to $20,000 in the next few months. Also in today's show, Kathy Wood's $500,000 Bitcoin call is already happening. We're going to be breaking down how to ride this wave to a half a million dollars per BTC. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and many of the alts are currently correcting and in the red. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 50,000 subs. And as you can see, we're getting so close. If you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. And today's show is brought to you by iTrust Capital, the world's largest crypto IRA platform with over $2 billion in transactions. And I have a very special gift to share with you today. They're giving away $100 in free Bitcoin by simply registering and confirming your email. It's literally that simple. I break down these two simple steps in the description right down below, as you can see here, get $100 in free Bitcoin from our sponsor, iTrust, by completing the following two steps. Number one, register here using my referral partner link and number two confirm your email that's it it's literally that easy and you'll receive a hundred dollars in real BTC absolutely free the only caveat you must live in the United States so what are you waiting for go ahead and do so right now set up your crypto IRA today and let's start stacking that crypto tax-free. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. Happy birthday, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, it's your birthday. I'm your host, JV. And as usual, we have a lot to cover. So let's dive right in. Bitcoin is ready to rally again as the Bitcoin price action flips bullish on crucial timeframes, according to crypto trading platform, Decent Trader. In his latest market update on October 29th, the firm predicted incoming fresh upside for the king of all crypto, which has languished below the old all-time highs this week. Now let's discuss $150,000 Bitcoin price, before the end of this year, while well, the area around this year's two highs are currently 63,900 and 67,100, the new all-time high, which are the main focus of discussion, real friction might in fact only lie far into price discovery territory, nearer six figures, quoting Decent Trader here, on a technical market cycle and on-chain basis. We continue to believe that the next major area of difficulty for Bitcoin will not hit until we approach $85,000 to $90,000, the update forecast, this due in part to a moving average crossover event involving the 128-day and 200-day trends, which has historically sparked sustained upside and closer to the present, Bitcoin's three-day chart, which Decent Trader holds to be an especially accurate price tool, is now bullish, as you can see here in this chart, contradicting the current bearish daily and neutral weekly setup. And closer to the present, Bitcoin's three-day chart, which you can see here in your screen, which Decent Trader holds to be an especially accurate price tool, is now bullish, contradicting the current bearish daily and neutral weekly setup. This is one ingredient feeding into a probable channel for price action, which can see Bitcoin hit $150,000 per BTC by the start of 2022, as you can see right here in this chart. Now, the status quo with the overall Bitcoin supply should help matter. Exchange reserves continue to fall, indicating resolve to hold rather than sell amongst traders. And quoting them here, evidence continues to suggest that existing market participants remain bullish. Where my bulls at? One data point to support this is the continual draining of Bitcoin from exchanges as users select to put their Bitcoin into cold storage. And the net impact of this is that short-term supply is reduced. Until this trend changes, it will continue to put upward pressure on price as demand for Bitcoin has to accept higher prices amongst the limited supply available. That's right. So incoming Bitcoin supply shock, let's freaking go. And also taking a broader look into the state of Bitcoin at the end of October is Asset Manager, 
ARK Invest. Shout out to Kathy Wood and the latest installment of its dedicated guides released this week. The infamously bullish firm counted up the metrics to gauge how much overall upside Bitcoin has left. The majority indicates, as reported, that the bull run is far from over, despite some heading into territory, which has historically signaled a cycle top. And quoting them here, in our view, Bitcoin's value is a function of its economic utility, while Bitcoin's value is a function of its supply and demand. Over the short to medium term, we believe investors should be able to assess buyer and seller behavior on Bitcoin and use relative value metrics to manage Bitcoin positions actively. So there you have it. And now checking out the latest from crypto analyst tech dev. He wrote, Bitcoin likely heading up to the 1.618 Fibonacci at $84,000 in early November before a decent pullback. Folks, call the top. We'll keep a close eye on the indicators, but none should be close to topping $84,000. And he shares this chart, which compares the bull run of 2017 with striking similarities to this year in 2021. And as Mikhail Bende Pop shares here, Bitcoin is still fine towards $90,000 as he breaks down right here in this chart. And Dan Hell reminds us, if everyone in the world understood Bitcoin and the current macro environment, then the price would be $1 to $10 million per BTC. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Dan Held. And before I break down our next story of the day, Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin white paper is now officially a 13-year-old teenager, rising 7.7 billion percent since its launch, as well as US dollar tanking can kick off a parabolic phase for Bitcoin, says crypto analyst Justin Bennett, as well as Kathy Wood's $500,000 Bitcoin call is already happening. And I break down how to ride this wave to a half a million dollars per BTC. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and many of the alts are currently correcting. And in the red, with Bitcoin down 1.6% for the day, trading just above $60,600. We have Ether down 2.3%, trading just above $4,200, while Solana, Polkadot, Binance Coin, Cardano, Dogecoin, Sheeb, Chainlink, Matic, and you name it are all correcting and in the red. But all right, now let's break down our happy birthday story for Satoshi and Bitcoin. The iconic Bitcoin white paper celebrates 13 years of financial disruption after being first published on October 31st. 2008, and by an anonymous person or entity named Satoshi Nakamoto. The white paper titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, foresaw the need for a peer-to-peer -peer online payment system that is self-governing, secure, and limited in quantity. The Bitcoin network was launched on January 3rd, 2009, with each Bitcoin price at 0.000. .000. Eight. And right here, you're looking at the Bitcoin white paper. And while Bitcoin was initially perceived as a threat by traditional financial institutions, 13 years of community support and a growing user base have made Bitcoin one of the most profitable investments of the internet age. Today, Bitcoin maintains a stable trading value well above 60,000 after experiencing a gradual appreciation of 7.7 .7 billion percent since its launch. The Bitcoin white paper proposes a solution to prevent double spending without the risk of trusting a third party. And to do this, it mentions the use of honest nodes that confirm transactions by overpowering the bad actors in terms of raw central processing unit CPU power by computers. Now check this out. This is pretty interesting. The Bitcoin white paper has 15 honest and one dishonest mentions explaining the need for honest nodes to ensure the credibility of each transaction. And quoting Satoshi Nakamoto, we have proposed a system for electronic transactions without relying on trust. They, the honest nodes, vote with their CPU power, expressing their acceptance of valid blocks by working on extending them and rejecting invalid blocks by refusing to work on them. Now, the Bitcoin blockchain has currently mined block number 707,542, which offered a mining reward of 6.25 BTC. And as the Bitcoin ecosystem slowly approaches its hard cap or maximum supply of 21 million BTC, the developer community will need to modify the existing rules to incentivize the miners that confirm Bitcoin transactions on the blockchain. The white paper suggests any needed rules and incentives can be enforced with the consensus mechanism. And despite the ongoing resistance from numerous governments around the world and authorities, this year marks the beginning of Bitcoin's legacy as legal tender in El Salvador. The long-term effect of Bitcoin on El Salvador's inflated economy will determine the assets mainstream adoption amongst other jurisdictions. The success of Bitcoin and the crypto ecosystems as a viable investment continues to attract investors from all walks of life. 
one of the world's richest men. Tesla CEO Elon Fudd Puppet Musrat recently showed support for the cryptocurrencies at a code conference in California. Quoting him here, it is not possible to, I think, destroy crypto, but it is possible for governments to slow down its advancement. So there you have it. Also like to point out that Tesla still has over a billion dollars in Bitcoin currently on its balance sheet. It has not sold any. And also Elon has hinted that soon they will resume Bitcoin payments. And before I break down the next story of the day, US dollar tanking can kick off a parabolic phase for Bitcoin, says crypto analyst Justin Bennett, as well as Kathy Wood's $500,000 Bitcoin call is already happening. And I break down how to ride this wave to a half a million dollars per BTC. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap sitting just under $2.6 trillion with $155 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. Current Bitcoin dominance is 44.2% with the Ether dominance at 19%. 0.4%. And checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have Decentraland leading the pack up a whopping 108% for the day and 346% for the week, trading at $3.51. Anchor up 74% for the day, trading at $0.16. Cents. And The Sandbox up 46% for the day and 129% for the week, trading at $1.80. Now, which altcoins are you currently most bullish on during Q4? Let me know in the comments right down below. And now checking out one of my favorite indicators, this Crypto Greed and Fear Index, shows we're currently rated a 7 74 out of 100 in greed. Yesterday was a 73, last week a 73, and last month a 27 in fear. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Crypto analyst and trader Justin Bennett says that the weakness in the US dollar can spark a new parabolic rally for the king of all crypto. The popular analyst tells his 85,000 followers that he has his eye on the US dollar index, which compares the US dollar to a basket of other major fiat currencies. A weaker dollar generally suggests that investors are favoring other assets over the world's reserve currency. Now, Bennett says that the US dollar index is about to approach the bottom of an ascending channel should it fall through the bottom and begin a big downtrend. The analyst says that the breakdown could be the catalyst to send the crypto into a parabolic surge. Quoting him here, what's that? Bitcoin is up and the US dollar index index is tanking, as he points out here in this chart, 93.5 is critical. A close below that for the US dollar index kicks off the parabolic phase of the crypto bull market. In my opinion, let me know if you agree or disagree with this crypto analyst. And looking at Bitcoin in the short term, Bennett predicts Bitcoin consolidating some more before finding a bottom around $57,000. From there, the analyst suggests Bitcoin breaks out in early November and gets above $75,000 halfway through the month. Send it. And quoting him here, Bitcoin consolidation continues if the market can deviate from the September pullback, which you can see here in this chart in the yellow, and break out here, it's back to 64,000. That would be the next big test for the bulls. Let's see. And when it comes to Ethereum, the crypto analyst says that the second biggest crypto by market cap is in the middle of a breakout that can see it clock in as much as 362% worth of gains in the coming months from its current price of $4,000. $324, quoting him here, ETH is breaking out again. The weekly chart looks ready for ten dollars to $20,000 in the next few months. That's right. Send it. Let me know if you're bullish on Ethereum and where do you feel the Ethereum price is likely to end up before the end of this year. And before I break down our final story of the day, Kathy Wood's $500,000 Bitcoin call is already happening and I break down how to ride this wave to a half a million dollars per BTC. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. This goes for all 970 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a blog I update daily, which could be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to help me get to 50,000 subs. And of course, you can follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, home of the Joe Rogan experience, to Apple's iTunes and Google Play. You can follow me on crypto Twitter. My Twitter handle is crypto news. Yes. And of course, you can follow me on TikTok, Telegram, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. Kathy Wood isn't afraid to make bold predictions. Shout out to Kathy Wood. Back in early 2018, the owner of ARK Invest said Tesla shares would go from $300 to $4,000 within five years, a potential upside of around 1,200%. Yet Tesla hit the target early. This January, Tesla shares surged past that $800 mark or $4,000 on a split adjusted basis. Now, pretty astounding, but Tesla may not be Wood's most bullish call at the moment. Last month, she told CNBC that the Bitcoin price could soar to a half a million dollars per BTC in the next five years. Quoting her,
her here. If we are right and companies continue to diversify their cash into something like Bitcoin and institutional investors start allocating 5% of their funds into Bitcoin, we believe the price will be tenfold what it is today instead of 45000 which is where the price was at during that time, to over $500,000. Now, Bitcoin is already moving in that direction. As we all know, we just broke out to a recent all-time high, touching 67000 and we're in the most bullish time of this four-year cycle, which is November and December. Now, here are a couple of ways to play the crypto boom, even if you're just dabbling with some of your spare change. Wood herself is offering a new way to invest in crypto. In September, the ARK Next Generation Internet ETF tweaked its prospectus to include exposure to Bitcoin via Canadian ETFs. That's right, the first Bitcoin ETF in the New York Stock Exchange just started trading last week and did over a billion dollars in volume within the past two days, breaking all previous ETF records. But Canada has been ahead of the U.S. for a while. Several Bitcoin ETFs launched in Canada this year, including the Purpose Bitcoin ETF, 3IQ CoinShares Bitcoin ETF, and CL Galaxy Bitcoin ETF, as well as the Evolve Bitcoin ETF. And in the U.S., the debut of the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF was arguably a major catalyst behind Bitcoin's latest rally. The fund holds Bitcoin futures contracts that trade on the CME, and investors who want exposure to the crypto market can invest into these ETFs. But of course, you can also buy Bitcoin directly, as most of us do, as we're not major institutions. Also note that some investing apps allow you to buy both cryptos and ETFs commission-free. Companies that have tied themselves to the crypto market provide another way for investors to benefit from the crypto rally. For instance, enterprise software company MicroStrategy, the first publicly traded company to put Bitcoin on their balance sheet, purchased 9,000 Bitcoins in quarter three. That brings its total Bitcoin count to now 114,042 BTC, a stockpile worth roughly $7 billion at today's prices. And because of MicroStrategy's huge Bitcoin stake, some investors have used it as a proxy for investing in the cryptocurrency. And in the past, rallies in Bitcoin usually led to similar moves in MicroStrategy's share price. There's Riot Blockchain, which mines Bitcoin and hosts Bitcoin mining equipment for institutional clients. Thanks to soaring Bitcoin prices, Riot shares have returned a staggering 577% over the past 12 months. And investors can also check out Coinbase, which is currently the most downloaded app in the world, surpassing TikTok, which runs the largest crypto exchange in the U.S. The company's share price fell below its IPO price of $250 during the summer, but the recent pop in cryptos has brought it back above $300. While the crypto stocks can be pricey, you can get a price of these companies using a popular app that allows you to buy fractions of the shares with as much money as you're willing to spend. And now for a quick recap, what I cover with you here in today's show, Bitcoin price ready to rally, with Bitcoin bulls clear to charge at $85,000. Also in today's show, we discuss Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin white paper is now a 13-year-old teenager appreciating 7.7 billion percent since its launch. Also in today's show, we discuss U.S. dollar tanking, which can kick off a parabolic phase for Bitcoin, says crypto analyst Justin Bennett, as well as Kathy Wood's $500,000 Bitcoin call is already happening. And I shared how to ride this wave to a half a million dollars per BTC, but already feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next. Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, BitBud quoted Satoshi Nakamoto with e-currency based on cryptographic proof without the need to trust a third party middleman. Money can be secure and transactions effortless. Gotta love it, BitBud. Thanks for sharing Satoshi's brilliance. Cheers and happy White Paper Day. And our next featured comment comes from Jenny Jones who wrote, come on people, let's get JV past 50,000 subs. What are you waiting for? Best crypto show out there. Peace and yeah, plan B, right on, right on the Bitcoin button. Thanks so much, Jenny, for your support. I appreciate you. Let's go. BTC. And our third and final feature comment of the day comes from Luigi Mario, who wrote, JV, great show as always. I listen to your show on Spotify religiously, and your show is even better on YouTube. There is no reason why you don't have more than 100,000 subscribers. I have told all of my friends and family to watch you. We'll get you to 50,000 subs by next week. Let's freaking go. Peace, brother. And I responded, hey, Luigi, much love, fam. 100,000 subs along with $100,000 Bitcoin price. Let's go. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. That's right. Bitcoin is the glitch in the matrix. And if you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash 
that subscribe button and ring that bell to help me get to 50,000 subs. And real quick before I go, I want to point something out. I Trust Capital has a very special promo they're running where they're giving away $100 in free Bitcoin. And to qualify, here's all you need to do. Go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below. It'll take you here. Go ahead and register. And then all you need to do is check your email and confirm your email and then you will get $100 in free BTC. This promo doesn't reflect yet on the website, but they're adding it and it's already live. So my audience can go ahead, click the link, register, confirm their email and get $100 in free BTC right now. So go ahead and do that. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.